Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. Hope that you're doing well. It's time to go ahead and review Paco Rabanne's Phantom. Now you may think that I'm just gonna dunk on this fragrance the whole video, you know, just make fun of it and all that stuff, but I'm really gonna try to approach this in a more even keeled way. So I'm not gonna just try to be mean and snooty, even though I could, but I won't. I won't do that. So I'm gonna show you guys the presentation of this fragrance, which is really unique, obviously. Go over some of the highlights, maybe some of the lowlights, and just let you guys know what I think about it and who I think this would work well for. So let's jump into it. Let's go ahead and get started with the presentation. Now, uh, memory serves, this had a little slip cover. Yes, a slip cover that went over this box, which has been lost to the history of time. It's been banished to the shadow realm, never to be seen again or, or, or just misplaced. Probably just that. So here's how the actual box looks without the slip cover. I mean, if you want to see that, you can check out the uh, first impressions I did on this, but not really important. On the front, you had the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the size, the concentration, little Paco Rabanne logo up at the top, nothing on the sides. On the back, you can see that this is a connected fragrance. And then on the bottom, you'll find your badge code and your barcode. Badge code here is 004. To one. So in case you're wondering, what does connected fragrance mean? Well, this one has an NFC embedded into the top of the bottle. So basically what that means is if you have your phone unlocked, you can hold it to the top of the bottle and then it will pull up a website, phantomuniverse.com. There it is. It's a a robot. So basically on this website, you can scroll through a number of different drops that they've had. And uh, I mean, honestly, it's, it's kind of pointless, but maybe somebody out there thinks this is cool. For example, drop two here, phantom filter, add a good looking bot to your selfie. So basically you take a selfie and then the little phantom robot is in the picture with you because that's cool. Send that to somebody and they're going to go, <laughs> is that a real robot? I'm just playing, nobody will care. And then uh, drop three, Phantom Dance. Match the moves and own the dance floor. Another filter, uh, LA Speed, cruise through the Los Angeles skies game and new drop coming soon. So it just takes you to phantomuniverse.com. That's what it does. So here is the presentation. Now, a lot has been said, a lot has been made about this presentation. It is a robot, obviously. Got the little Paco Rabanne logo in the chest area here. <laughs> in case anybody's wondering, this is just a, a bottle. You know, you can't articulate the arms or anything like that. His little visor here is where the atomizer is. Just spray down on the top. So I'll show you how that goes. It's not bad. And on the bottom is where you're gonna find your batch code. So yeah, it just looks like a little little robot, little sci-fi robot, like it's throwing it back to the 50s or something. Paco Rabanne is really well known for having eye-catching bottle designs. It's kind of one of their MOs. I mean, just look at One Million or Invictus or even something like Black Excess. Of course, the thing that everybody has harped on, everybody has talked about and taken shots at Paco Rabanne for is the name of the fragrance is Phantom which most people are gonna think of like a ghost, ghostly apparition, or I guess maybe you could think of like the Phantom of the Opera, if you stretch it a little bit. And then the fragrance bottle is a robot. One thing is for sure, it's definitely eye-catching. You know, you walk into a, a Macy's or something like that and you see a lot of bottles that, yeah, they look classy, but maybe they don't stand out quite as much. You see that, you're gonna notice it. I mean, for better or for worse, maybe you don't like it, you're gonna notice it. So this one had a really interesting development life, we'll say. There were four perfumers involved, which is a lot. Uh, it's very out of the ordinary. And then apparently it was made using AI. So you can read into that. There've been a lot of articles done on it, but basically the, the gist of it boiled down is Paco Rabanne decided what fragrance accords got the best reactions from people. And then they were like, put that in there. So basically it was like, this one got a great reaction. 
that's in there. This one got a great reaction, that's in there. It's kind of a different way of going about making a fragrance. And with this one, depending on where you look, you're gonna find different note breakdowns. So if you go to Paco Rabanne's website, they'll give you some of the notes, but they don't really give you that concise note breakdown a lot of companies will with the top mid base. If you go to Fragrantica, it's different than what you'll see on Perfumo, which is different than what you'll see on base notes. It's different uh, all over the place, but most of the notes that carry over, it's just you have some stragglers here or there. Now, if you didn't watch the first impression, I, I didn't like it very much. Not a big fan of Phantom. So how has it changed? So let's go ahead and talk about Phantom, how it smells to me really quickly. And then I'll go over how my opinions have changed, I guess. So when you first spray this on, you get hit with a creamy lavender. And that's how Paco Rabanne describes it. Creamy lavender. That's pretty pretty well accurate. There's also lemon in the opening. The lemon here doesn't come across really sharp. You know, sometimes lemon in fragrances can be very sharp, very bright, piercing almost. Here, it takes on more of a, a sweet scent profile. At times, it reminds me more of like an orange than it does a lemon, maybe even like slightly pineapple-y as compared to lemon. So it definitely has this fruity kind of sweetness initially melding together with that creamy lavender and sweetness is going to be kind of the name of the game here uh, you get that sweetness initially from the the fruitiness as it dries down it's from vanilla so basically the vanilla comes in and, and takes the part of that of that fruity sweetness in the opening and then carries the sweetness on through into the base you can pick up the vanilla pretty much right away as well i'd say but it kind of sits underneath everything else initially before it comes out more as it dries. Through the mid, there's this little faint kind of nuance of patchouli along the edges, which I like decently well. And into the base, you get this amber woody kind of feeling that all the other notes play off of. The lavender, I would say, is, is what carries on through the fragrance for the majority of the lifespan here. It's really the focal point. I mean, it's like lavender and fruity sweetness and then lavender and vanilla, uh, a touch of patchouli, touch of amber wood, but that lavender carries from the opening into the mid into the dry down. Now the fragrance does come across how most people would describe as synthetic. And by that, I mean, when you smell it, doesn't really smell like something you would find in nature. Like the way the citrus comes across doesn't smell like an actual lemon or orange. The way the lavender comes across doesn't smell like you went out and, and smelled a, a lavender or lavender plant. Uh, the vanilla doesn't smell like you would expect real vanilla to smell. It's all like this synthetic kind of <laughs> uh, futuristic version of the notes. I mentioned this in the first impression, but this is sweet, synthetically sweet. In the opening though, it did come across more like a sledgehammer of sweetness after I've worn it more. You know, there are little pockets of time where it doesn't come across cloyingly sweet, but then it kind of settles into its next, uh, its next act. And then it smells really cloyingly sweet once again. So <laughs> Yeah, it's like cloyingly sweet in the opening, a little bit in the mid where it's not so bad and then uh, pretty sweet again. So on the whole, most people that are really hardcore fragrance guys, you know, ones that have big collections or have smelled a whole bunch of things or who are a little bit older, you know, middle aged and up, uh, this is not a fragrance for them. And the majority of those people are not going to like it. Me personally, yeah, I don't really want to wear it. I don't like it very much. That being said, for younger guys, teens, guys in their early 20s, mid 20s, I'm sure this thing rocks because it's got a lot of sweetness. It's going to command attention. The bottle is flashy. You know, again, that's going to get people's attention if you're in a store. Uh, really, the whole packaging, everything is geared toward younger guys. I mean, you can't tell me that this bottle was made to appeal to people you know, 35 and up that work in an office or, or something like that. You know, most of them are not going to see that and be like, hell yeah, that looks like a great office fragrance. So yeah, the whole thing is, is made for younger guys. And in that aspect, I think it works actually. It's definitely no more uh, in your face than the original Invictus was, in my opinion. So why couldn't it work just as well? And I've ran this by a bunch of different people and actually on the whole, the reaction's pretty good. Yeah, there are some people that really don't like it, but on the whole, most people do. And again, we're just talking your average everyday person, your average everyday guy or girl. So on the whole, it's accomplishing what Paco Rabanne probably wants to accomplish, which is appealing to younger people and having a sweet compliment puller kind of scent. That's what it does. But a lot of guys like myself are gonna smell it and just go, no, I, I, 
I hate that. But I understand who it's made for and it does that well. Now in terms of uh, performance, it's actually not bad, uh, which is actually not a surprise, I guess. Paco Rabanne a lot of times has strong, strong scents. This one though is not as strong as you might expect. It lasts over eight hours, so that's good. It's just uh, that projection starts to wane uh, for me anyway, about an hour and a half, two hours in. And at that point, it sits pretty close to the skin. So you can still pick it up even, like I said, eight plus hours in, but you're gonna have to be pretty close at that point. As far as seasons go, it's more neutral weather, spring, fall. You could pull it off in winter as well. In middle of summer, I'd probably go something else just because of that sweetness. You don't want it to be overwhelmingly cloying. And if it's really hot, you're sweating, moving around, especially a lot of people, that one is going to be a bit too much, I'd feel. So Paco Rabanne Phantom, it is going to be one of those fragrances that people love to hate for a long time because the name the the childish looking bottle the gimmicks with it and then that overwhelming sweetness done with ai and four perfumers that just kind of smells frankly synthetically sweet and generically boring <laughs> to an extent for somebody like me so yeah it's gonna get a lot of hate and i can't say that it doesn't deserve some of that but if i myself were 18 then this would probably be toward the top of my list of something I'd want, realistically, being honest. You know, 18, 19, 20, up to 25 probably. Yeah, that thing, pff, <laughs> I'd be a liar if I said I wouldn't rock the crap out of it back then. So you just have to kind of understand who it's made for, I think. And it's not like they're hiding that, you know. And what they're doing, it works. Just not for some curmudgeon like me. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me for Paco Rabanne's Phantom. Thanks for hanging with me and let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'm sure a lot of you absolutely hate it. And there will be a good amount of you also that say, hey, man, I don't get the hate. It works awesome for me. I expect to see both of those type of comments. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. Stay safe out there.